Yo, yo, everybody. Welcome back to another JD the Gamer video here again with Game of Thrones Legends. And in this video, we're going to get more in depth and show you guys out of all the characters in the game, which characters work with a fire and ice team. Wait a minute. Did you know that 85% of my viewers currently are not subscribed? Click that subscribe button. Let me know that you care about the videos that I'm giving you and that'll help the channel out. Okay, so here we go. I put together a um, Excel sheet breaking down every character in the game that either is in four different categories for this video. It's either going to be ability to apply fire, so a character that puts fire on the enemy. It's going to be a uh, extra damage with fire applied so if there's fire on the enemy they do extra damage or an extra thing we'll get more into that and then the same thing for ice so the ability to apply ice and then the ability to do extra damage with ice or brittle because um, once you get five ice it turns into brittle um, who does extra damage or extra things as well. As you can see, just from a breakdown perspective of characters and number of characters, there's a lot more characters that apply ice and do extra damage to ice than there are currently that apply fire or do extra damage to with fire on the enemy. So, let's first take a look at our fire teams, okay? So, out of all the characters in the game, two, four, six, eight, there are eight characters from what I can see. I might have missed one, but from what I could read, whether it be in their main skill or a leader skill or a passive skill, something like that, there are only eight characters that have the ability to apply fire to someone. So let's just take a look at this first one, okay? And we're not going to go through each of these characters and talk about each character because that video would be tremendously long. But we'll take a look just at a few just so you guys can understand what I'm talking about. So, R Rhaenyra Targaryen, right? <clears throat> she has the ability to apply fire. So, if you take a look at her first skill, Ride to Battle and Glory, Rhaenyra deals 70% attack fire damage to all enemies with an 80% chance to inflict fire upon them. She also has a 50% chance to remove a buff from them. Enemies who had a buff removed have an 80% chance to, to be inflicted with one additional fire. So she potentially has the ability to apply two fire to all enemies, depending on if they had buffs removed, all that good stuff. Her passive skill and leader skill. So... <clears throat> Leader skill, when an enemy de is defeated, Rhaenyra creates one random power-up. Has nothing to do with fire, but I'm just reading her skills and then her passive skill. When Rhaenyra receives a buff, she has a 25% chance of triggering a power-up. So none of her power or um, passive skills or leader skill apply fire. Uh, but her main skill, her attack, has the ability to apply two fire to the enemy so that is why she has she's on this excel sheet for ability to apply fire let's take a look at one more okay and then we'll just go through the list together um Beric dundarian okay <clears throat> he has the ability to apply fire let's take a look at him real quick so Beric dundarian his first skill um Barrick deals 19% attack fire damage to all enemies with a 40% chance to inflict two fire on all targets hit. So again, <clears throat> sorry, just like Rhaenyra, an AoE that attacks everybody, but then also has the ability to apply two fire to the enemies, to all of them. So that's really good. His leader skill, if Barrick is the team leader, he begins the battle taunting. So it has nothing to do with fire, but a pretty solid skill to taunt them. And then Life from the Light, his passive skill, the first time Beric is defeated, he, re he is revived. So just like in the show, Game of Thrones, he dies, uh, Thoros brings him back to life. So same kind of aspect with this, when he dies, he revives right away for an extra life. Um, but as you can see, just like Rhaenyra, he has the ability to apply um, fire to the, dam to the enemy. Now, I also broke this down in what color they are and what rarity they are. So we have uh, 
what is this? Two, four, four legendary characters in the game currently that can apply fire. Four legendary characters that can apply fire. Two epics and two commons. So if you have no luck in pulling legendaries, there are options to be able to still apply fire with a fire team of your choice by getting these epics and or commons. So for the epics, we have the Dragonstone Maester, the Dragonstone Master of Arms. For commons, we have the Dragonstone Mender and the Dragonstone Elite. So pretty much anybody that's a Dragonstone character for, um, can has the ability to apply fire. Now, where this takes a little interesting dip or turn is there are currently, from what I could see, only three characters in the entire game that do extra damage when the enemy has fire, okay? So, let's take a look at them real quick, or at least one of them. The main one, obviously, is going to be Daenerys. She, I love Daenerys in this game. She's a three-star for me. I would love to get her to continue to go, but she's one of my main staples. Now, Daenerys deals 59% attack fire damage to all enemies. Each target afflicted with fire receives a bonus 50% attack fire damage for each fire that they have on them. So, let's say you run a team with both with all of Daenerys, Rhaenyra, and Beric Dondarrion. Let's say Rhaenyra is able to land four fire or two fire on the enemy. Beric comes in, does two fire on the enemy. So the enemy has four fire. So now Daenerys' skill with 59% attack fire damage, now all of a sudden add another 200% because she gets 50% for each fire on the enemy. Now she's doing 259% damage to the enemy with the four stacks of fire on them rather than just 59%. So as you can see, as you continue to stack up these fires, it can get very detrimental to the enemy, okay? Now, let's take a look at another character that can do fire damage or extra damage. So we have two legends and one common. So currently there's no epic character that can do extra damage um, according to how many fire the enemy has. So if we look at Thoros here, I'm going to pull him up on my phone real quick, find him. I do not have Th Thoros at the moment on my active squad, so I must find him. Boom, there he is. So let's switch back our view. Boom. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, Thoros does extra damage. So his first skill, Thoros revives an ally to 33% of his own max HP by sacrificing 30% of his max HP. So you might say, JD, that doesn't sound like he does any damage at all. However, Flaming Sword, his passive, when an enemy is afflicted by fire, Thoros strikes them for 75% attack fire damage with 50% accuracy. So it's not tremendous amount of damage, but... Having him, so if you run that same team that I mentioned earlier, Daenerys, Beric, Rhaenyra, you're going to do extra damage, apply a lot of fire. However, you throw Thoros on that team as well. Now you have a reviver on your team just in case something goes wrong and they die. But then Thoros is also passively doing damage along the way. So he's going to help your team survive at the same time doing some random damage that has nothing to do with his main skill. But because they have fire afflicted onto them, boom, he's doing some damage. Okay? So if we take that and move on over. So again, this is the list of all the characters that have either the ability to apply or extra damage. You take a look at this over here, the ability to apply ice. This would take forever to go through and, um, and show you guys each of these characters, but at least by showing you visually which characters, and you can pause and take a look at this and go back and forth from the game to this, but at least you can see the names of the characters over here and what 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 uh, rarity they are, what color, you can find them in the game and see how they apply ice. We'll look at one character here. We'll look at Lord of the Bo Lord of Bones, okay? So if we take a look at Lord of Bones, <clears throat> he's a great character, actually. A very strong character. If you take a look at him, his first skill, the Lord of Bones deals 60% attack physical damage to all enemies. Okay, so just right there, boom, you're doing damage. 
and has a 60% chance to afflict each enemy with ice. Okay? So, he afflicts ice. This attack deals 26% bonus damage if the target is brittle. So, as you can see here, Lord of Bones, he applies, but he also does extra damage if they have brittle or um, ice, five ice, which equals brittle. If they have brittle, he's going to do even more damage. So, he's applying ice and he's doing damage. And then you have his, his um, passive skill, another for the collection too. Anytime an enemy is defeated, all enemies have a 15% chance to become afflicted with up to three ice. So this character not only does damage, not only applies ice, not only does extra damage if they have ice, but he, he, he's also passively, if enemies just die on the field, all the other enemies have a chance to get inflicted with ice. Three ice. Remember, you get up to five, that's brittle. Brittle gives 200% extra bonus damage on top of the extra damage that they're already going to do because the brittle is now on them. So amazing character to utilize in terms of trying to apply ice and do extra damage. There's a lot of characters here that only apply ice, and there's a few characters that only do extra damage two characters, both Arya, that do extra damage if there's ice or brittle applied to them. But there are a number of characters, unlike fire, there's no character that I could see that does ability to apply fire and do damage, extra damage if they have fire. There's quite a few, three, four, five characters in the game that can not only apply ice, but do extra damage if they're if they have if they're the five ice equal the brittle, and they get the brittle, then they do extra damage on top of that. But brittle doesn't just stop there with those characters. You get brittle on a character, it's automatically two hundred percent extra damage. So any character in the game can hit harder with brittle on the, on the enemy. But these characters will do the two hundred percent extra damage plus whatever is embedded in their skill as well. So. I hope this helps kind of iron out who is available for fire and ice teams. There are other teams that we're going to get into. There's other teams like uh, Wound, Bleed, uh, Deceive, Stuns. We're, we'll get into all that later. But I just wanted the two basic team compositions that you can do. Fire and Ice, no pun. Um, these are all the characters that can utilize it and do extra damage to help your team win. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what did you think about that Excel sheet? We're going to do more in the future. I'm going to break down the most, I'm going to break down some other stuff as well. I'm working on a lot of other things as well, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you utilize these teams or if you learned something from this Excel sheet. If you liked it, let me know. If you think it was kind of pointless, let me know as well. Maybe I don't need to do any more Excel sheets. Just let me know down below. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. But until next time, man, it's your boy JD, and I'm out this thing, baby. Peace.